We are here in beautiful Beverly Hills, California, and we are at Soundwell. I'm sitting here with Adam Kagan. Adam, tell me a little bit about Soundwell and what's going on over here. Well, Soundwell is a collection of a few guys and myself who put this place together so that we can work at our own pace, um, developing artists, writing and, and producing records, uh, doing music for film and TV, um, just pretty much anything related to music and audio. So Adam, tell me a little bit about how you got involved with Cathedral Pipes. Uh, I first came across Cathedral Pipes working at Nightbird Studios. Um, in their mic collection they had a couple microphones by Cathedral Pipes and they tended to be the first choice for a vocal microphone. Alright Adam, so you said that they are the first choice for vocal mics. What makes Cathedral Pipes stand out? Well obviously the choice of a vocal mic is because of the sound of the microphone. Um, Cathedral Pipes kind of takes the elements that make good vintage microphones, good sounding microphones, and uses modern components and super high quality build to make a microphone that, that sounds great, still, still feels like a vintage microphone, but has all the qualities of a modern microphone. So who makes Cathedral Pipes? Uh, cathedral Pipes are made here in California by a guy named Chuck Dickinson, kind of a mad scientist. It does everything from DSP coding to running the machine shop, and uh, he's, he has a passion for building vintage tube electronics, and, and the microphones really are his, his prime product. So what is inside the Cathedral Pipes microphones? Well, Chuck takes a lot of pride in, in sourcing the microphone from parts made in the U.S. Um, he actually builds his own capsules, um, uh, machines the metal, create, you know, glues the capsules together, does his whole ground-up capsule. Um, the transformers are made here in the U.S. The, uh, the bodies are actually milled, the steel is milled here in the U.S. And, um, it's done with oxygen-free copper cables, and it's really OCC cables, really the long strand copper. And it's uh, really gone out of his way to make sure that they're not the typical Chinese import microphone. Mm -hmm. 